Welcome back to Boom Shot. I'm Kale. This is Colby. And why did I look that way? <laughs> and with us again is Micah, our resident Star Wars Thank specialist. You. Thank you. Thank you. With the recent uh, season finale of Bad Batch, we decided that we'd make a tier list ranking all of the Star Wars movies and shows. So let's jump right into it. Boom. You looking for this? All right. So starting us off, we have The Phantom Menace. Uh, what's our resident Star Wars specialist have to say about The Phantom Menace? Okay. In my opinion, The Phantom Menace may be the most underrated Star Wars movie there is. Yeah. yeah I, either that or... Uh, yeah, because the rest it, of them are pretty it, high Either rated. that or Solo. And it does have the best... That's lightsaber. true. It, it does have the best lightsaber fight in Star Wars in it, so... Yeah, you gotta love Liam Neeson as, uh, as Qui-Gon. Yeah. You got... I don't know, just... Uh, uh, are we calling that a hot take from our resident Listen, expert thing? That's another discussion for another time, but it is the best life to have right now. So. We'll make a tier list about we'll, we'll it. See, we'll see. And, we'll and see the it. most important. Yeah, the stakes of The Phantom Menace, like, everything that occurred in the Star Wars universe is, is based off of The Phantom Menace. At least, they, like, yeah. the movie universe, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I don't know. Where are we putting... Where do you think we put uh, The Phantom Menace? I think it's got to be at least a B tier. Uh, I'd say it's a B. Yeah, I say okay. B that'll work. All right, so B tier. All right, next up we have Attack of the Clones. Attack of the bad acting, really. <sighs> that, not really Attack of the bad writing. Okay, it really was bad yeah. writing on George Lucas's attack part. Attack of the I hate sand, man. That, that, sand, that is. Why I don't like sand either. Side. That's it's automatic S tier. I do agree with Anakin on that, but that is why I turned to the dark side. Let's <laughs> So, in all actuality, where are we putting this movie? Definitely C or D, in my opinion. I, it's the I, worst of the prequels. I can I can see that. I do love the Battle of Geonosis. It kind of single-handedly it, saves that movie. But um, uh, yeah. I'd say considering one movie we have coming up later in the docket, we got to put it C. Yeah. Save, save room okay. for D2. And you guys know what movie we're talking about. <laughs> Fast forward to Blankety Blank to see it. All right, next up we have the Clone Wars movie. Oftentimes forgot about it because it just kind of gets grouped in with the Clone Wars series, but it was a different kind of yeah. distinct uh, yeah, it thing. Was its own thing. I mean, <clears throat> really, it was a big step for animation in Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, even though yeah, the animation wasn't very good, but still, no, like, well, looking back at the time, it, yeah, yeah, looking back at it, but yeah, for sure, it's a good movie too. I like it. Um, I'm definitely. What do you What do you guys think? I think it's a B tier. I think I give it a good B tier. I love the story in mm -hmm. it too. Introducing one of the most popular characters, Ahsoka. Yeah. Um, Even though, so I mean, we put it above the Phantom or behind it. Not in my opinion, I think it's behind. But I mean, I honestly put it behind. Too. Yeah, I, I I can agree with that. But I mean, I it's just really nostalgic for us. I guess it say. does kick off. One of the best Star Wars, any production. Not one of the best. It is an automatic yeah. guest here. And then there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even get to. Yeah, I mean. Well, I guess we all know. We all. Everybody knew what he was talking about. Okay, so yeah. like, the Clone Wars. Do we even really need to talk about this? I just want to talk about it because I love the Clone Wars. Okay. It, I could go show. on. We could go on and on about it. The the time. acting, the the well, the voice acting. Yeah, the, voice the acting. animation. Especially in the later, later seasons, seasons yeah. um, just the story. I love how it bridged episode two and episode three together, and I love how it, I just love the clones. Like, I, if this show never happens, the prequels is worse than it is now. It makes the yeah. prequels better. It, it makes gives, episode three what it is. Yeah, really. it gives depth to Anakin and Obi Wan. Yeah, and then, yeah. brings okay. in Ahsoka. Uh, there is a few tear jerkers in there too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. When when ninety nine died, dude. And when Ahsoka, Ahsoka walks. Ahsoka off and if anybody ever tells you that Clone Wars is a kid show, just in completely. Watch, watch when uh, Obi Wan uh, watches Duchess. At oh, that, 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 was, that was that was just sad. Dude. So many things we could talk about. And the the way the way it introduced clones to it made clones so much more relatable. Yeah. Not just you know, like they. Honestly, it seemed like clones were just mindless droids at some point, but the but the show really fleshed out clones. We mm -hmm. got we got Rex. We got we already knew who Cody was. But we got Rex Fives, mm -hmm. Echo. So many, yeah, so many um, kicks. I, mean, I will say from this show, Rex is one of my favorite characters from Star Wars, if not my favorite. Oh yeah, and, I mean Ahsoka. Yeah. Just like the way the the characters they introduced, the stories they introduced. The only the only bad part about Clone Wars the episodes with Padme and the droids they're just those, but even those episodes are still very entertaining so like, yeah and I mean I mean you gotta have filler episodes with them yeah. as long as that show was but. we're talking to you Sully you know who you are <laughs> <laughs> um so leading us into our next you know, the Clone Wars leads us into right into episode three like literally right into episode three mm -hmm. so where are we putting episode three 
It's an S tier. Uh, S tier above above or below? I, I, if if you don't have Clone Wars, Revenge of the Sith isn't as good as right. yeah, I can initially see that. came see. out. So I think it does go below, but I think it's the best Star Wars movie there. So. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, Clone Wars was kind of our era. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, the, the, I mean, that's my childhood, man. It all really parts, all we would watch it together. Have, have like, sleepovers, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, it we was, went all out for it. And people think that, <laughs> that Anakin turned too fast in Episode 3. But really and honestly, with Clone Wars, like you said, it, it does make a lot more sense. Yeah. Uh, Ian McDermott as Palpatine, iconic. <laughs> you just can't get over it. The music, uh, John Williams is his name, who writes the music. Yeah, yeah. Just everything about Episode 3 was just amazing. The assault on the temple, I can't help but you know shed a tear every time I watch that. Dude. And it's got the second best lightsaber fight. The first best lightsaber fight. <laughs> Anakin versus Obi Wan, don't at me. And then it's got the third best lightsaber fight, um, uh, Mace versus Palpatine, maybe at least live action, or maybe Yoda versus Palpatine. I th- I liked the Mace versus Palpatine duel more, honestly. It, yeah, episode three yeah, was just yeah, amazing. it was just a great movie, yeah. emotional roller coaster. Yeah. yeah. So next up we have Bad Batch, which is the newest release that we have in the Star Wars movie and TV universe. Um, where are we putting this? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it. it. It did seem a little bit more on the filler side, definitely. It, it, at least some, a lot of the episodes did. But there, it also is introducing a really important plot point that we don't know much about. Yeah. So I mean, there's some good cameos in there, too, which I appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My boy Captain Rex, my favorite character, you know. No, you Cat Bane, I love Cat Bane. Kanan, um, or Kanan yeah, Kanan. Kanan. Yeah, Kanan. Yeah. Uh, uh, cool Depp of Bilba. Yeah. Or Blama. Which whatever. they were technically in Season 7 of the Clone Wars. That's they true. didn't have any speaking roles, so... Um, I'm thinking where y'all where y'all. Playing? I think it's a B tier right now. B tier above or below the Clone Wars maybe, because I guess I, or even above Phantom Menace. I think it's below Phantom Menace. I don't, I don't know. I like the I mean like the animation, animation does makes make it, it, a it does make better, a, yeah. a big difference because the me. animation is beautiful in that show. It really yeah. Is. So I mean similar to Clone Wars season seven. Yeah. Um, I think that's a good I place for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. After that, we have Solo, widely hated movie for I love some unforeseen. Movie. Yeah. I don't, really, I don't really understand why. It's an awesome movie. I, I love Solo. Um, I can't remember the guy who plays him, but I thought he did a great job. Um, and you, you gotta love Donald Glover. Donald as, Glover. Yeah, <laughs> as Lando, you gotta love that. Um, where are we putting this one? I think it's our first A, dude. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I and mean, I think, yeah, I feel like a lot of people won't like that, but I think it's an A tier as well. Yeah, I agree, and. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, the action shots in the movie—I mean, just typical Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, Darth Maul, dude. Oh yeah. After, dude, I was shook at that came out. That, that yeah. movie made me want a solo too, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a duo. <laughs> or, or at least some Maul movie or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but yeah, we see him a lot. Of Clone it, it's just an origin yeah, story to one of the—I mean, one of the most iconic characters in Star Wars, and I guess people can say it really didn't do him justice, but I thought it did a great job. I thought it was a great movie. Um, so next up we have Rebels, which is not my cup of tea, but it is a very I good show. It, dude. I was kind of late to this uh, this show, but I mean, once I started watching it, I finished the show in like 30 days. I'm yeah. personally a Rebels fanatic. I love Rebels. And <clears throat> it's probably my second favorite show in Star Wars, behind Clone Wars, of course. But I mean, I like it almost as much as Clone Wars. It's a really good show, in my opinion. Yeah, but where should it be? Really, really where should it be put? Um, um, it's not my cup of tea, but I do acknowledge it for the show that it is. Um, so I, uh, I like it at B. I think it's a good I'd B tier. Above Phantom, I, I I might would put it above Phantom Menace. Maybe I that I think, if something's gonna go above the Phantom Menace for me, it would be that show. Mm, I think we leave right here. I mm. think right there is a good show. Yeah, yeah. it was a good show. Oh, I like the uh, so next up we have Rogue One. Probably my favorite. I, it's one of my favorite Star Wars movies. I, I don't honestly, it, Dude, that's on it, my it, personal it, tier list, to be right best honest. Darth Vader scene of all. Time. Oh yeah, yeah. it chills, dude. They made him overpowered, dude. Yeah. He was just rampaging through the hallway. Um, where are we putting this one? It's an A tier. Right? It's definitely yeah. A tier above yeah. Solo, honestly, for me. Strong <clears> A. Yeah, it, on the on the brink of S, but not quite there. Um, <clears throat> next up, we have a New Hope. The OG man, classic. Yes, yeah. started it all. That's probably my second favorite of the OT. Trilogy. Yeah, 
I can so, concur. I don't know. I do like the Empire Strikes Back, but we'll give it. That's my least favorite. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I think it would be my least favorite of the three, yeah. too. Yeah, but for some reason, it's like the the most widely, like the I know, I know. The most critically acclaimed. Just... <coughs> so, where where y'all think this one goes? I think it goes A tier for sure. Yeah, it's But does it trump these two movies up here? I think perhaps. It's off the if it factor. had If it had the CGI and all that good stuff that those two had, it's. Oh, it would be. It would. Yeah. It's what started it all. Yeah. yeah, you gotta put it right here. Yeah. Um. Next up, we have the Empire Strikes Back. We've already heard our opinions on it. Um. What are y'all thinking? I, I mean, mean, if you're putting it, if you're putting it like what, what critics say, it's obviously S tier. But I would <coughs> keep it A. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's I think all the original trilogy get but, A. Yeah, but I definitely put it behind. I mean, they're good movies. Yeah, but for like, for oh for yeah, us, yeah. I mean. Rogue One and Solo are also really good movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So where are we putting it? I think, I think it's an A. <coughs> yeah, All right. I think that's good. In my opinion, a low A high B, but... Oh, excuse me. I, I don't think uh, all the, the original trilogies are A's because of the next one. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, uh, for uh, excuse sure. me there. I think that's an S tier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to do Only because... No, I'm just kidding. Great uh, movie. It was, it was a very good movie. I, I find myself, out of these three, re-watching this one the most. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, you gotta love Luke in this movie. The Luke yeah. and Darth Vader parallel. A lot of good Emperor Palpatine memes. Like, you just really can't get any better. <laughs> Death Star 2, like, why? But still. And then when they, uh, they CGI'd Anakin into it. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that was beautiful. That's, that's sick. And Rex is on indoor. Yeah, 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 yeah Rex, Rex is My on boy. indoor. Uh, so next up we have Mandalorian. Um, where are y'all putting this one? Uh, this is the second newest. No, third newest, I guess. Disney addition to the show universe. And it's been really good. <clears throat> I think it's a, I think it's an A tier. Yeah, strong A. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then where you, we, okay, where would we put it? I, I personally prefer shows over movies, especially live action shows. So I would put it above Solo and Rogue One. But okay. That's just me. I can see that. I, I don't know. For me, it would probably be behind Rogue One, but before Solo. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, we're they're ready. both. Those two titles to me are both really kind of go hand in hand as far as how much I like them. Yeah, and Mando's still going, mm-hmm. so I mean, yeah, we can put it down. It might rise eventually in a future tier list. I say we leave it right here. Yeah. I think that's a good place for it. It's definitely but, an A for sure. Next up, oh man, the the Dark Descent. We have <laughs> the Force Awakens. Um, this one actually wasn't that bad. It was at, out of the three sequels. It yeah, was it was the good. best one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pretty much copy and paste of uh, a new of a new hope, but yeah. still, I'll, I'll take it over the, the next two. But <coughs> so where are we putting this one at? No, I'm not alright. <laughs> yeah, we get we get into the sequel trilogy. Over here. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm about to cry, man. What is Star Wars? Do? It's a it's a C. All right, yeah, I think it's a good C tier. I yeah, definitely above Attack of the Clones. Um, next up, oh, here we go, boys. D tier. Can I rant about this movie? I mean, go ahead. This movie's just terrible, dude. They killed off Snoke. Oh, oh wow. I was what so else? excited about Snoke. They made Luke an absolute like deadbeat person, coward. Uh, yeah, yeah, they made him a coward character. <laughs> and uh, we almost we debated making an F tier. No, oh, yeah, just, just, for, just for this, <laughs> just for this movie, because uh, it, it just ruined the entire. It ruined the movie before it and the movie after it. Mm-hmm. Like Ryan Johnson, I don't know what he was thinking, dude. But what, oh, what else was bad about it? And I knew I knew we were gonna be in for a roller coaster when when Luke chunks the lightsaber man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, in the movie theater though I did laugh at that scene. I don't know why, but I did think it was very funny. <laughs> I was like, bro, Luke man, Yeah, really? out of all people I, I don't know, I just wasn't very it, it, there's just a lot of things they could have done better. It was a really boring movie. It was a boring movie. I went to the bathroom about five times in that movie and that's no <laughs> yeah. cap. You, you yeah, can attest to it. Literally um, every five seconds. <laughs> what else, what else should we talk about? Kylo's an absolute baby. Although Kylo is probably the best character to come out of the sequels, I'd say. Or Poe. Yeah, like Kylo. Yeah, those are my two favorite. Probably. They did Finn wrong as well, but yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, that, that, like, the the subplot with Finn and Rose, like what the heck? Like, yeah. I, oh yeah, that was garbage too. <laughs> I just need to stop talking about it. Okay, <laughs> let's. The next episode, the Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he hates these movies, dude. Okay, next up's the Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> It's better than the last show. Yeah, it's, it's up here. It's not. It's not better than any of these movies. 
I'd rather watch the Attack of the Clones in this movie. I would, say, yeah. I would do, probably. I, think I would honestly rather watch Attack of the Clones over The Force Awakens, but... Oh, that's, that's fair. Yeah, I, I would. The Battle of Geonosis single-handedly saves this movie for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of telling, dude. Our bottom three movies there, I mean... Yeah, you know, not trying to hit anything, Disney, but uh, you just stick to shows. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you saw you saw our boy here. I mean, he started getting choked up. I know. No, I'm okay now. Literally, it's kind of weird after we're done talking about it. <laughs> um, yeah. so that's that. Pretty much wraps up our tier list. Let us know if you disagree or agree. I'm sure you'll agree for the most part. Um, and well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.